Is animal fat good or bad for you? That's the question. Now I'm on a keto diet, so I regard animal fat as part of a healthy diet. But it's a controversial subject because conventional wisdom has for some time now been telling us that uh, animal fat is bad for you because it raises your cholesterol levels. And we all know that a raised uh, cholesterol, particularly the bad cholesterol, the LDL, um, is a risk factor in cardiovascular disease. But there's a growing body of scientific evidence which disputes this and says that a diet has very little to do with your blood cholesterol level. Uh, you can lower your blood cholesterol slightly uh, by having a fat restricted diet. Uh, but the problem with that is that it lowers the total cholesterol and it's lowering your good cholesterol, your HDL, as well as your bad cholesterol, the LDL. So the ratio between the two stays the same. And it's, the ratio is often used as a risk factor as well. So you're negating any lowering of total cholesterol because both cholesterols are being lowered. In fact, if you eat a lot of sugar, you can lower your good cholesterol, your HDL. So it's not just fat that's going to be affecting your cholesterol levels. The fact is that the liver is responsible for 80% of your blood cholesterol levels. So if you starve yourself of cholesterol, your liver is going to compensate by producing more. So you're going to have very little effect on your cholesterol levels. And the reason for this is that cholesterol is an essential part of our physiology. It's responsible for the formation of several hormones, vitamin D production, uh, the health of cell membranes, including neurons or your nerve cells. And it's even involved in bile production, which is essential for your digestion. Now I'm gonna demonstrate how I have rationalized this situation in my mind. Uh, it's not to say that uh, it's not controversial and it's probably a bit oversimplified, but it just, it helps to demonstrate uh, the point that I'm making. So have a look at this. This is a loaf of supposedly healthy whole wheat bread. Now, if you consume this whole loaf, uh, your body uh, could turn it into about this amount of sugar. This is sucrose, but in your body it would be glucose, but this is just for the demonstration. So, and then your body's going to decide, now what does it want to do with the sugar? If you're short of energy, you could use it for energy. If your glycogen stores in some of your cells is low, you could store some of it uh, as glycogen, or your body if you don't need any of those things, your body might decide, well, let's move on to the next storage system, which is fat, animal fat. So basically, you've taken the healthy whole wheat bread and in your body it's been converted to animal fat. So what's the difference between eating, between eating bread and animal fat? It ends up in the same place in your body. So you've got very little control over that. So basically your body's going to decide what to do with the food that comes in through your diet. So I'm not advocating that you eat tons of animal fat, uh, but I'm, what I am saying is that if there's animal fat involved in a meal, don't shy away from it. Uh, let it form part of your diet. Um, the other healthy fats around which you can also consume, like olive oil, coconut oil, avocado, those kind of things. So you can balance your diet with a variety of oils. You don't have to eat tons of animal fat. Just to demonstrate this in another way, I'll just show you what a beef cut from a cow that's been fed largely on grain looks like compared to a beef cut from a cow that's been fed largely on pasture or grass. And uh, the difference is quite remarkable. Have a look. Now the cow on the right was fed grass and you can see that the muscle is quite lean and there's not a lot of fat around and the cow on the left was fed largely on grain and you can see 
the marbling of the fat within the muscle fibers. I'll just bring that up closely for you compared with that. And I know which cow is going to feel the more healthy out of the two cows. But also, there's a difference in the fat. Uh, when you consume fat from a pasture-fed cow, you're getting uh, high levels of conjugated linoleic acid, which is a essential fatty acid, uh, which helps to reduce inflammation, which is another risk factor for cardiovascular disease. So that's a, a big advantage. So if you have a choice, it's better to choose the pasture-fed uh, beef compared to the grain-fed beef. Now, I reintroduced animal fat in my diet about five years ago, and I've been watching my cholesterol levels, and it's made very little difference to the cholesterol levels in my case. Uh, but I tell you what does affect my cholesterol levels is my level of obesity, my BMI. As my BMI goes up, so does my um, cholesterol levels and it's particularly LDLs that are going up so that's a double whammy. Now remember this is a controversial subject so there are going to be differing opinions. Now, I suggest you do your own research and get advice from your own medical people before you make any changes to your lifestyle. And remember we're all different so what works for me might not work for you so I would suggest if you do uh, increase your animal fat, you keep an eye on your cholesterol levels because we're all different and we have different risks, we have different genetics. I'm just giving you my point of view and what I discovered in my situation. So if you found this useful, please like and share this video and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already done so. And if you have any comments, we'd love to hear from you. If you scroll right down to the bottom, there's a comment section, you can leave us a message there. Thank you very much for watching.